As far as design is concerned, the laptop features a sturdy aluminum magnesium chassis and a plastic body. In addition, thanks to the tight and consistent hinges, the display stays firmly in place even during mild shocks. What's more, when the laptop is closed, there are no gaps between the lid and the body and the display is not prone to twisting. You're also presented with well-constructed input devices, a comfortable keyboard and a huge responsive touchpad. The Acer Aspire E5576G is PWM modulated but only up to 63 candela per square meter and the frequencies are quite high which means that it is comfortable for continuous work without causing any negative impact on your eyes. Of course, you can also install our health card profile that not only eliminates PWM but also limits the negative blue light emissions while preserving color accuracy as much as possible. Another merit worth mentioning is the wide variety of input and output ports. On the front side of the laptop, you will notice an SD card slot as well as two light indicators. On the left, there's one USB 3.1 Type-C port, two USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI port, a VGA port and an RJ45 port for network connectivity. On the right, you'll see the DC jack, a space for the optical drive, a USB 2.0 port and the audio jack. Unfortunately, the display has a rather poor sRGB coverage of just 50%, although this applies only to the TN version. However, you could opt for a configuration that supports an IPS panel to avoid this drawback. In addition, our custom profiles further improve the image quality in terms of color accuracy, white balance and gamma. The other con worth pointing out is that the Acer Aspire E5576G offers uncomfortable viewing angles. Luckily, you can avoid this problem as well by going for an IPS configuration instead of a TN1. When it comes to good alternatives to this laptop, there are some models that catch the eye, such as the Acer Aspire 5, HP 15, Asus VivoBook F510 and the Dell Inspiron 5570. Well, that's it from us for today. Keep up to date with the latest on mobile computing and as always, see you next time.